Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Heroes of Mind Magic 4. Today we are starting the second scenario of this uh, nature campaign called Mark of the Tiger. There must be dozens of elves more qualified, but the elven court selects Elvin for an important mission to seek an alliance with the wise white tigers. Unknown to Elvin, this has all been arranged by the powerful Lord Hark in an attempt to remove him from Shara's presence and set him up to fail or possibly die. Okay, so we need to be the only player to own towns, cannot lose him, and uh, he's limited to level 22. And Breeze the Falcon will carry over to the next map. What or who is Breeze the Falcon? Hmm, I guess we'll find out soon enough. Okay, let's have a look. How can the Elven Court choose my beloved for such a deadly mission? It's absurd, especially when so many veterans have already volunteered for the task, my own father among them. As for Elwyn, he turned pale as a summer cloud when Lord Hark asked him to face the White Tigers alone. Oh, return to me, my beloved. I cannot lose you now. Interesting. Okay. Lord Hark stood concealed behind the tall rose bushes at the entrance to the garden, his lips pressed into a fine line as he watched Shara dance with the colorfully dressed young elf named Elwyn. He had watched them for weeks, ever since they had returned from their adventure in the wild forests along the coast of the Gold Sea. To the dismay of many of the male members of the elven court, Shara rarely had the suitors these days. Instead, Shara spent time with her birds, sometimes disappearing into the woods alone for hours to train a particular pet. She seemed to only accept Hark's invitations to dinner, and although this should have made him feel confident, he was afraid it only was it was only out of respect for her father's wishes. Lord Hark suspected that uh, she now had feelings for the gangly druid. <laughs> gangly. <laughs> Hark has seen uh, their stolen glances, their knowing smiles. He had even followed Shara, a falcon on her arm, on one of her excursions into the forest. Elwyn had been waiting for her by an ancient and gnarled oak, and they had kissed. That's when Hark swore to do something about this fool. Shara was young, naive. This foppish young druid had obviously used their time together when their lives were in danger to confuse her. She was probably just a conquest to him. Elwyn had a reputation around the court for being charming, but also for being arrogant and selfish. He had warned his way into the elven court, and now he was trying to convince his way up in ranks by seducing Shara. Well, Hark wouldn't allow it. He cared for Shara too much, but he couldn't accuse Elwyn without proof. Part of Hark wanted to challenge the man to a duel, but he knew that doing so would only make himself look bad in Shara's eyes. Besides, the Elven Court frowned on such behaviors these days. What Hark needed was to destroy Shara's image of Elwin. He needed to expose Elwin's true self, an arrogant coward. When the Elven Court called me forward and announced that I was to lead the effort to bring the mysterious White Tigers into the Aranor Alliance, I nearly swallowed my tongue. But why? Surely there are others more qualified, I said. Perhaps, said the court speaker, Lord Hark, but you have proven yourself resourceful, Elvin. On three separate occasions we have sent others with more experience, more skills and more talent, but they have all failed. In fact, they all died. The White Tigers have expressed an interest in joining Aranor, but we haven't been able to convince them that an alliance would be mutually beneficial. What? They have expressed an interest in joining Ar Aranor, but we haven't been able to convince them that an alliance would be mutually beneficial. That doesn't make any sense. They would not have inter expressed interest then. Anyway, so we hope that you, your amazing ability to adapt to a difficult situation proven to us during your recent adventure will bring us victory when we are so close to defeat. Several members of the Elven Court applauded. I wanted to refuse, but I found Shara's face among the crowd. What would she think of me if I turned my back or Aranor in its time of need? Her father would certainly despise me even more. 
He already dislikes me because I have never fought in defense of our former nation Avli, nor for Aranorn. But then, three people have already died, the odds of my return seem dim. I don't want to die, now that I have just found Shera. Well, Elvin, do you accept? Aranor is still weak from the reckoning, we have a few troops only. Will you help protect our children? Lord Ar Hark asked. <laughs> I glared at the man, the way he asked, I could not refuse. Of course, I said, thus sealing my doom. <laughs> and that's how I came to be in this remote region of Aranorn. This time, at least, I brought some extra clothes. Okay, so level 15 needs 8000 experience, has Master, Grandmaster, Grandmaster, Advanced, Basic, Basic, Advanced and Basic. No army whatsoever. Hmm. And how about the town? There is a little bit of army there. And we shall go, we can't go for the Unicorn Glade, so I guess we'll go for the Griffin Cliffs then. Citadel, Tiger Den or Treetop Lodge. Oh, we can't, okay, we need Treetop Lodge, which needs a Ranger's Guild. I wonder if I should first do the City Hall, probably not. Probably not, let's do the Ranger's Guild. Wow, 20? Seriously? Wow, okay, well, we'll need uh, the army, so let's uh, buy all of it and put it down. And also, since we already um, built that funny thing, where is it? This one, let's maybe buy a bow, range attack by five, and this one some defense, and this one something as well. Maybe one Immortality Potion, just in case, I don't know. I guess so. So you now have a little bit of everything, which is great. Plus one Immortality Potion. Couple of uh, guys, so... Yeah, I'm pretty happy. Okay, we are supposed to stay the only ones to have any towns. So I guess I'll... Uh, Send a couple of scouts out first and uh, go pick up uh, resources. This is not a resource, right? This is a sawmill, exactly. So pick up this and that. And you can even still continue. That's interesting. Okay, there are some tigers here. Can't go there. But we do have... Uh, Altar of Nature Magic, nice. We'll definitely use that. Okay, maybe one more, just to tell me where I am supposed to go. Get that movement bonus, this is an exit. There's this, which I should probably go and pick up. There's these guys, which we need to fight. Some birds, some more of these thingies, white tigers. I guess I need to go there then. Can't see anything else, I can still go this way. Okay, maybe one more scout. So go this way first, and then all the way here. And there is a purple band of something. Okay, I guess we can go this way then for that. Right. Right. Okay. You can pick this up maybe as well. And... Uh, you need to go here first. Flag, can't go this way, right? No. And can't go that way, unfortunately, anymore either. I wonder if I should go here first. This is the exit as well. 
also exit looks like it. So let's go this way. Whoa! There was a golden statuette of a woman lying by the side of the path, so I dismounted to investigate. When I knelt to pick up the figure, I heard a soft growl from only inches away. It was a trap. I looked up and found myself staring into the glorious face of a white tiger hiding in the undergrowth. If you had planned to kill me, you wouldn't have done it or wouldn't you would have done it already. That's why I'm still alive, right? Don't ask me how I found the courage to speak. I think it was instinct. That is true, said the tiger. Its voice coming from what seemed to be its chest was impossibly deep. Have you come from Aranor? asked the tiger. Yes, I said. I am Alvin. I have come to talk to your king or queen or whatever leaders you have. I winced at my own words. I guess I could have taken some time to learn something about these white tigers before I left the court. <laughs> now I sounded like a fool and I was probably going to get myself killed because of it. We have no leader. Every white tiger is king or queen of their own territory. Right now you are on my land. Um, well then, who has the authority to make an alliance with Aranorn? You do not understand, Elvin Elf, the tiger said annoying. Each of us has the authority. Convince one, and you convince all of us. Sounds too easy, I said before I could stop myself. <laughs> it is not. None of us are entirely convinced that the elves of Aranor can help the white tigers. In the past, your kind has talked about mutual protection, but we have seen three elves come and all of them have failed to aid us in any way. What we seek is help with our greatest tragedy, not empty promises. That last comment was uttered with an angry growl that made me scurry away. I came to my feet next to my horse, and if not for the embarrassment of returning to Aranor a failure, I might have leaped on it and fled that very moment. Instead, I asked, what is this greatest tragedy? Find out for yourself if you can. If you really want this problem solved, wouldn't it be easier to just tell me? Riddles won't get us... I... Riddles won't get either of us anywhere, I said boldly. Perhaps I found my courage because I was standing further from the tiger now. Do the elves offer us swords and bows only? Is there not any wisdom in Aranorn? There's plenty of wisdom, I said. It's just not here at the moment. <laughs> Slowly the white tiger crept from its hiding place. At its full height it was only a little shorter than my horse, but much stronger. Its great paws were as wide as dinner plates. Imagine what claws reside within. Suddenly I understood why Elven Court so desperately wanted an alliance with the White Tigers. Wow. I remained still. The tiger approached and then turned its side toward me. It turned as if to leave, took a few steps, lifted its tail. No, I shouted, holding my arms before my face just in time. The tiger spread me from its waist down, soaking me completely. My soiled purple, purple trousers clung to my skin and the sharp odor made me gag. You! What did you do that for? You have been marked, said the tiger. Now, as long as you wear those clothes, no tiger will harm you. But if you spill the blood of one of my kind, we will know. We will all know. Then there will be no alliance with Aranorn. There will be war. In one great bound, the white tiger vanished into the wilderness. Great. I was walking sewer now. Did the universe have something against my wardrobe? <laughs> Maybe. Who knows? Let's save. It was a lot of text to absorb. And let's continue. So we are not supposed to hurt any white tigers. So I guess we shouldn't be going into any sort of uh, close distance to, to these guys, I guess. Sounds easy enough, doesn't it? I sure hope so. So, get that uh, thingy over there. This is uh, not accessible. Okay. I guess you can go back home and stay there. Then, uh, what's this? Dozens of water elementals. I don't think we have what it takes to actually kill them. We do have summon earth elemental, and that might be enough 
but also might not, so I'm not sure. Let's first go here, take that, then go and uh, fight a few of these guys, potentially, for some... Um, so what could we do? Summon elves? Yeah, let's summon a few elves. That should help us uh, with... Uh... Oh, come on. Maybe you can, or maybe not. Okay, let's uh, speed them up. Yeah, that hurt. Okay. And there we go. Could have been better, but hey, we got seven shooters out of that, so I can't say no. The question is, do I want to go there or not? And uh, first, let's do the tree top lodge. And second, I mean, we can try. We can try. How many, how many elementals can I summon? Nine elementals. And there's dozens of them up there. I guess that's not not doable. Let's have a look at least how many there are. There's eight, eight, and eight. Interesting. So if I summon nine elementals, do you think uh, we can survive this? Well, they will, they will be shooting at us, that's for sure. But maybe if I just continue doing this, maybe if I do the mortality potion before, maybe I can do it. Yeah, let's 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 try. I mean, first let's try without the immortality potion, and I will. Um, Keep a few, just to make them occupied. And if need be, I'll take the potion as well. But for now, let's uh, let's not take it. Okay. So here goes nothing. I don't know if these are the best units I can summon. Maybe I should summon white tigers. Might be better. I, I really don't know how good they are. They are level 2. These are level whatever. I don't know. So let's just go and block them somehow. If we can. There. And there, they go after him, so yeah, that's not great. Probably should have taken that uh, potion. What did I just do? Yeah, I think I, I did something wrong. I wanted to summon more. And we will drink that potion now, just so that I have uh, no problems doing that. Okay, so once more, summon elementals costs five and you have like tons of mana. So with one immortality potion and and maybe speeding these guys up as well, that could work. Yeah, I should probably speed them up. Okay, so you have no retaliation, so you can very nicely block them like this. If that even makes any difference or sense. 
like that, two for each. And now I can either haste him or summon some more. So let's summon some more first. And now we need to haste ourselves because they are super slow. So let's do that first. Um, do you see it's speed, right? Okay. Do even one damage. Never know when it will come in handy. Like that. They are slowed again. Well, too bad. I guess. But they resisted twice, which... Uh, which is very good, because that makes... Uh, you know... Ouch. Let's, uh, let's beat them up again. Resisted and did not resist, so it's gonna take some time, but at least they are not shooting at me while they are doing that. I think we have a pretty decent chance here. This time we will be able to... yeah. I will haste because they will... yeah. I will haste. Or not. Elementals can go now, so let's uh, let's summon a few more. We will survive. Now you can just defend, and you can do a few more. And they should not be able to do much anymore. Yeah, eight down. You need to you need to put giant strength on yourself. Now kill them. Yeah, I think this is working. Seven, so maybe we can just uh, destroy them with these guys. Potentially. Excellent, and you finish this. Very cool, I like it. I like it a lot. So, the boots first, I guess, and then this. I do want nature magic, they give us expert summoning, so be it. Uh, and go here. Yeah, that's that's really good. I like it. Okay, can't go anywhere else, so just join them, please. And this army can go forward. And you can... you don't have to be here. You can also just join the army. Okay, this is a scout. Next turn. Perfect. Okay, so everybody go down, please. I don't know if we need uh, any one stacks. We definitely want a couple of shooters and actually everything else as well, so just come out. We can build something small for griffins, we need a citadel. For citadel we need money and wood. Mm. Yeah, that's gonna take some time. No problem. Come closer. I wonder if I should already. Yeah, I probably should already put them together. Even though it slows me down. I will want to have all of them for the next fight. Wow, really? 
Well, they had almost full movement. How come they are slowed down so much now? Well, not full movement, but they had much more than this. I, I, I am pretty certain they had much more than this. Hmm. Strange. Well, we can, we can at least do this, I guess. This is, this is very strange. Next turn. Okay. Come to me. Oh, look at that. He has summoned one archer. That's very good. Now, still can't do this. Yeah, we don't have a uh, money and... Yeah, okay, fine. I get it, game. We need to fight for everything, so let's do it. Here, here, here. And uh, I'll be doing two of them, I think, and one of the sprites. Something like that. Or maybe actually something like this. Okay. So, Band of Trolls should be hopefully quite easy. At first I caught the smell of cooking meat in the air. I couldn't identify the scent, so I ordered my troops to prepare for battle and follow me closely as I crept through the undergrowth grove. Then we heard the grumbling voices arguing back and forth about who would get the largest portion. Certain that their disagreement would mask our approach, I rushed closer to find several trolls sitting around the fire. Spitted above the flames was the skinned corpse of a white tiger. That was the source of the smell, and hanging from the branches of a nearby tree was the tiger's pelt, still wet with blood. A few of the trolls already wore the pelts of other white tigers, and all of them had necklaces of claws and teeth. While they waited for their meal to cook, another boiled some water and made soup from the tiger's paws. Immediately, I ordered the attack. Hmm. 45 and no damage. How, how are they dealing with the glorious tigers then? <laughs> well, we'll need to summon elves, let's say. Because why not? Yeah, they kill just one. So that's not uh, exactly the best. You can do quite some damage. Let's try from this side. Finish this guy. You can go closer, maybe. And you as well. And um, you too. So take the retaliation from the three, then summon a few more uh, elves, and then wait. You need to go away. And then let's go after the four. Wait. After the two. This guy has already been retaliated against. So we can uh, we can start killing him. One and one, perfect. And I don't think we need to do much more, so let's just kill him. Retaliate against this guy. Kill him some more. And here. And here. And that's it. Lost two wolves, but that's not a problem. I removed the fresh tiger pelts from the dead trolls and somberly threw them on the cooking fire. How can these horrible creatures kill such a beautiful beast as a white tiger? And for what? Teeth, claws, hides and fertility potions? Then I recalled I was supposed to stop the greatest tragedy plaguing the white tigers. Could this be it? Could there be more trolls in these woods, all hunting the tigers for their body parts? If there are, no wonder I have seen only one tiger since arriving here. So, what? Uh, that's what they want me to do. I have to kill all the trolls. <laughs> well, great. I mean, either kill all the tigers or kill all the trolls. Genocide both ways. 
but fine. I don't uh, say anything. So, I fell off my horse. When a falcon dives out of the sky and buzzes past your head, you're not exactly thinking about staying in the saddle. On the bird's second approach, I dropped a small roll of parchment. It dropped a small roll of parchment into my lap and then circled around to land on my abandoned saddle. Now that it wasn't a blur of movement, I noticed that the falcon was a beautiful golden creature with keen black eyes that stared at me defiantly. I unfurled the note and read, My love, I have greatly missed our walks and having your long arms around me. Not an hour has gone by that I haven't thought about you. Although your mission is important to Aranor, I wish that you had not gone. Why couldn't the elven court send another? Lord Hark, perhaps, or even my father. I know that you could not remain here with me, but I wish I could have followed you. So, I offer you what little help I can. This is my best falcon. He is smarter than most of the, her kind, so beware. <laughs> I think she knows it. Her name is Breeze. I have not only trained her to hunt, but to scout the land as well. Perhaps she will be able to warn you of danger that you might not have otherwise noticed. I regret that I cannot offer you more, except my love. Be careful, Elvin. Come back to me. Yours, Shara. Making sure that no one was watching except the bird, I kissed the place where Shara had signed her name. <laughs> then I rolled up the note and slipped it into a pocket to be read and reread later. If we're going to get along, Breeze, I said to the falcon, you're going to have to understand one thing. The bird screeches once, as if to say, What? I ride the horse, I said. Okay, let's have a look over here. What can you tell me? There's more trolls over there. There's more trolls over there. Even more trolls. And I guess it will... Oh, now it shows me blue player. More trolls. Okay, we'll be fighting a lot of trolls, I guess. We'll be fighting a lot of trolls. We definitely want to go here. And then we'll continue later uh, that way. Now, where is... Here he is. Breeze the Falcon increases a hero's scouting radius by two. Nice. Nice. I like it. Okay, Breeze, here we go. Here we go. Let me actually first... Build those griffin cliffs. Six, ten, four. Require citadel. Oh, require citadel first. Seven, ten, ten. So I need a bit more money. Can I get money here? No, but I can have her pick up some. Maybe, and that could be enough. Still not. 7-5. Oh, I need one more. One more wood. Um, marketplace. I don't have much. But there is... There is no wood here. And there is no wood anywhere else. I will get one next day. The question is, do I want to wait? Or do I just exchange two for free or something like that? Yeah, let's exchange. Three for two. Jeez. What do I do for one day? I will need to get uh, more anyway because I need six here. So yeah, that's gonna that's gonna cost a little bit. Okay. There are dozens, so let's not underestimate them. We will need to save a little bit uh, more. In this episode, I would say. This doesn't look that critically bad. We shall summon more elves, I guess. Because... Because it's a good idea, right? Yeah. Ouch. So that's really bad. That was perfect. Let's go all the way back. And all the way back so that they can't um, do anything to us. 
we do some serious damage and you have no penalty either so go after these guys first I guess take that retaliation and you can't unfortunately attack okay the one maybe can kill them yes he can only one seriously okay that's fine and that's not fine at all so we need to find a better way to do this I mean you can take care of them probably and he needs to take care of them what do you think that might work yeah let's let's try it like that so you you do relatively decent damage they can only go after him can they or can they not I think they can't we shall give them one stacks to to spend time on well, they can go, but they don't do too much damage. Yeah, they don't do too much damage. So you go all the way away. You go here. And uh, you can wait. You can go there. You can wait. You can shoot at them. That's fine. You can probably kill the last one. No, that was not a good idea. Oh, that was that was super bad idea. Dang it. Why are they so fast? I mean, all the way there? Hmm. You know what? Let's try it like this. Which ones do I want to conserve more? I guess I want uh, a few of these. Let's see how that works. One stacks are one stacks. Can't lose more army if you have just one stacks. Okay, so we'll do this because because we can. Twenty five. All right. So start killing them. And these one stacks should be able to take a few hits. Exactly like this. And then over here. Over there. You needed to continue killing them. And you can stay there. Five and five. That's perfect. Now, wait. Mm hmm, that will not work. I need to kill them first so that he can shoot as well. Yeah, now he can shoot nicely. Okay. Kill the rest. And go away. Go away. Wait. And they go even further. Okay, so let's start shooting at them. Yeah, this will work eventually. They need to go forward and we just kill them. See, that's how it's done. Okay. And maybe this one as well. Maybe we can make you a little bit faster. Yes, we can. Look at how much faster we are without them. Wow, we are so incredibly fast without them. Wow, do you, do you see how much the elves are... 
slowing us down. That's incredible. That's incredible. Okay, fine. Uh, bring 15 wood in exchange for a nature magic skill. Oh, I will. I will. Maybe I shouldn't have uh, leveled it up so vigorously. They are trying to give me much more. Okay, so can you do something, you know, like alone? I think I want to go there. Wow, those elves are super slow. Yeah. Okay. Well, we need them for the fight, so... And look at that, we have a tiger. Actually, somebody could have gone down. Pick up a few things, maybe. Have a look what's on the other side. And there is a town. Not bad. Maybe a few things over here. We'll have one more scout, because uh, they are very fast. And they will also go this way. There's a tiger which we are not supposed to hurt, remember? There are unicorns. Interesting. Okay. You can also go and help against the... Trolls. So you here, you there, you there. We'll save the tiger maybe as well. We can now have a look at how good the tigers actually are. They have 35 HP. So I guess they are a decent level 2 unit or something like that. Still need a lot of money and everything. So get some movement, please, and um, we want this, we want that, for sure. Could go this way, too. Mm. It's a neutral town as well. How many? Dozens. Dozens is a lot. How many? I think that's that's doable. Let's summon a couple of elves. Well... Maybe we can put a few somewhere else. That's going to hurt, isn't it? Can hide. We will uh, we will summon more elves, I guess. Go and sacrifice yourself. Nice. You go and sacrifice yourself. You can wait. Alright, that's that's very good. Let's uh, finish this guy. Didn't even finish him, okay. You can finish the other one, right? Yes, you can. You can go this way. And please summon more elves. 
Go there. Hmm. I don't want to lose them. Maybe we can go away. And one and two, nice. And can they go to me? Yes, they can. Hmm. Okay. At least something. Now you can do decent damage, so kill three. You can go here. You can wait. These are summoned, so should not be a problem. And uh, that's it. That's it. Go away. Kill a few. Stay, stay. Kill one, kill one. Excellent. So go there. And we can put uh, this guy alone over here because he will have uh, a lot more um, movement points that way. I think we can go here. Yes, we can. No, we cannot. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Summon some elves, please. That was that was crazy. Okay, I think summon a few more elves. And go this way. How many can you kill? Quite a few. Excellent. That was a nice trap. Get some speed. Okay. Sure, go this way. And the white tiger. Oh, really? <laughs> I have to return with Elvin for them. OMG, game. Come on. Just, just, what the actual heck. All right, here we go. The presence of a gate, what? You are not Elvin, what are... Is this some sort of practical joke? All right. Let's uh, let's scout some more. Looks good. You will get killed if I do that, so let's not. We'll see where we can go later on. I still have only 3000 with that, I can't do much, so no birds yet. 15 wood for this, maybe later. There's a cart of lumber, but several nagas. But that cart of lumber would really help me. This goes somewhere there, I guess, and then this goes back, I think. Dozens and dozens. Hmm. I might want to go here first. Let's go there first. 
almost, but if we do pathfinding, maybe we can. Yes, we can, but fine. <laughs> and uh, one of them, and one of them. All right, sounds good. Next turn. I wonder if I should do pathfinding every turn or if it's just working now. Well, let's do the scouting first. Definitely want this. Okay. Yeah. I guess we're dead. No, we can actually stay alive. Okay. How about... Yeah, take that. 600 gold for one life. Of a pixie. Good. Do we have enough? No. Then... Uh, our mana situation looks good, so I will be casting pathfinding each time and uh, we wanted uh, the town as well because we can get more wood there and we get this one later we do have enough of that there is a something over here oh several unicorns for mage stuff that that is nice Mm. Well, let's try. It doesn't look that scary, but who knows. Now we have two of them. 20 and something, okay. That doesn't look so good. There will be a lot of them. You can block this one, at least. You can stay alive, you can stay alive, you can block someone, you can try to stay alive. We can also do significant damage, so I will be shooting with my hero now. Can wait, this was inevitable. This was not inevitable. Okay. Hmm. Shall we wait, maybe? Oh, why did you stop? Nice, now you can shoot. Excellent. So I think we lost one. But it will probably be worth it because of the... Because of the mage's staff. That will make... Uh, that will make things easier. I hope we can still reach the town, though. Yes or no? <laughs> Probably not. No. Stupid me, right? Several banned dozens. No shooters, though. Okay, next turn. Uh, or we can... We can get rid of the shooters. And capture the town now, what do you think? We can try that. Bam. No. And if I just do this with everybody? That works. Haha. <laughs> okay. No, why did... No! What? Why on the other side? <laughs> that is stupid. Ah, okay, fine.
No. <laughs> oh, they tried their best, but wasn't meant to be. Let's take the town. Seems relatively easy. And there's more. So the question is, what do we do next? I'm not so entirely sure. We will probably need the... the elementals. Or something similar. Yeah, I think so. Let's see if they wanna maybe kill someone. Yeah, they are stupid enough. Okay. So go here, block. Perfect. You can wait. You can go here and do something. Yeah, that's that's going to be enough, I think. I want to shoot. Excellent. We have a town. And in that town we can do Witch's Hall. Which does cost a lot, so I will not do it just yet. Battle Academy, Thieves' Gauntlet. We will do Thieves' Gauntlet at least. Okay, and now we can continue every which way. First of all, don't forget to cast Pathfinding, it costs only one now. And uh, bring a few more one stacks. Wonder what that is. Damage and hit points, not bad. Let's go here. Let them run. Go and pick up all the stuff, please. Nice, that's a sawmill, right? Yes, so that's job for you. And then uh, you, my dear, can pick up crystal. And nothing else. Is that crystal? No, that's crystal mine. You will not be picking up that because that's rather dangerous. Okay. You can actually be this bandit. You'll get attacked anyway. Let's go here. Let them run. Um, and... Go this way. Now we can make him faster so that he can do all this. Five gems, excellent. They are very slow because of the shooters, but uh, who cares, right? Over here, still waiting for those griffin things. Six we have. Oh, we can we can now spend that. Uh, yeah, we can spend that. I think we don't need too many other resources, so let's uh, let's exchange them for money. We need six and a half. So something like that. Maybe two more. Don't think we need too many gems. And now we can have the Griffin Cliffs. 
Okay, perfect. Next turn then. And here we go. He's still doing the... No. He's still doing more and more units. It's okay. And... Uh, I think our episode is about to end. Not absolutely sure, but I think so. Let's just finish them. Mm. We'll need some quicksand, maybe. Not 100% sure, though. And uh, some guys that can sacrifice themselves. Yeah, 17 is rather not a lot. Come closer. You go away. You go away. And we'll need to we'll need to summon a few more elves, I think, from now on. So yeah, you go away too. Okay. I guess one can be sacrificed like this. You can wait. You can wait. You can wait. Mm. That's nice. One down. Stay here. And summon some more elves. That's okay. That's also okay, I guess. One down. Maybe you can kill them. Yes, you can. Perfect. You have also a full shot. And uh, the rest is no problem. Okay. So we get uh, definitely the money. And definitely the lumber cart, yes. Okay, then uh, what next? We have been here, we still need to go down there, I guess. This is flagged, this is flagged, this is flagged. Have you cast the pathfinding already? Perfect. Then, uh, yeah, I think we, we just end the episode here. So this was part 61. I liked it so far. Some nice, uh, some nice fights. When we come back, uh, we'll continue down here and then go up there and continue our quest to kill all the trolls. Because don't feed the trolls and kill all the trolls, right? See you next time. Bye-bye.